what's up guys how's everybody doing today doing well here thank you for asking here we are the end of stranger things season three finished it up last night I gotta say it's pretty good it has stayed consistent throughout all three seasons in my opinion uh, season one being the best um, yeah, so there's a lot going on in season three. You pretty much have about three or four different things going on at once, and they jump from story to story to story, uh, and you gotta keep up pretty good or you could get lost. Um, course the whole main goal everyone is on the same page and they meet up in the end you know to get uh, things accomplished but there's a lot going on um, there are some standout moments that I'll talk about just briefly because this isn't a review this is just my initial thoughts so let me find the names that I'm looking for here. Okay. Uh, like I said, there's different uh, things going on in the in this season and different groups of people. And for me, which I think is a lot of people's favorites to favorite part of the season, are the characters of. Uh, the character of Steve and the character of Robin Buckley and of course those two meet uh, at work you'll see I'm not really giving nothing away and uh, they end up with Dustin and er Erica they end up with Dustin, Erica and Steve and Robin all in one group yeah so they are probably one of the best parts of this uh, season you'll enjoy it um, Winona Ryder still does a good job although she's not as prevalent uh, really in season three as much um, David Harbour uh, of course Jim uh, he does a great job. There's there's nothing you can say about their acting. Again, it's still good. All of them across the board. All of them are doing a great job. Uh, so the acting is uh, the acting is nothing to be concerned about from anyone. Like in the whole series, everyone's doing a good job. Like nobody stands out as bad at any point. Uh, you have a kind of a separate story in there with the character of Nancy and Jonathan and it's pretty interesting and and they of course and then they all end up together at the end and all that but you, you'll like their you'll like their little story going on there um, and there there might be some issues with L not going to say, but some things might happen that make you go, uh-oh, what's going on, L? What's going on? They're going to make you think a little bit. So, get ready for some L. Um, of course, I'm looking at a page over here. It's got all the cast and characters and stuff on there. Because uh, there's just too many to for me to remember right now. But, oh, and uh, one of the other characters, uh, Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. You know, uh, Max's brother. Yeah. Um, of course, he was a jerk. And you're going to see uh, a different side of Billy. You know, you're going to see... An, uh, a side of Billy that we didn't see the season before 
a little different Billy. I'll let you figure that out when you see it. But again, anyway, there's not much more I can add. Uh, it's pretty much the same through season one, season two, and now season three. I've enjoyed it all. Uh, is it the best show I've ever seen? No, it's not the best show I've ever seen. Um, that goes to Lost and uh, The Walking Dead up till The Walking Dead up to a certain point. I've been ready for it to be over now for about two or three seasons. So, uh, anyway, if you have not watched Stranger Things yet, I recommend you do. Again, it's kind of a combination of the Goonies and Aliens kind of mis mis mix mix match mish mashed up yeah mashed up in there um and uh, I think you'll enjoy it so guys hope you enjoyed the videos I, I know I didn't go too in depth in these but these are just my thoughts on it um I don't want to really go into a big review so we'll leave that possibly for another day I'm just giving you a regular guy's viewpoint from myself to you uh, of what I think. Now, of course, the set design, the music, uh, the characters, uh, everything about it is spot on, still perfect, still great, but I don't want them to uh, run this series uh, much longer because, like I mentioned before, uh, the kids are getting big. I mean, just in one season alone, you can see somewhat of a difference. So, much, so when you go from season one to season three, you know, they're going from normal looking little kids to, you know, big looking teenagers that are dating and all this stuff. And, you know, it's, it, there's, there's a big difference. And these kind of movies need to stick with young kids um, in my opinion so they need to wrap it up pretty quick so anyway hope you enjoyed the video check out the other ones if you didn't uh, I do all this for free no monetization no ads uh, remember to like share subscribe comment all that good stuff get up get out get rad do it to it see you guys later